Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your uh, weekly singles love reading for Libra. How are you guys? Libra, what is it Libras need to know? Uh, before I get going, I just want to mention, please don't put links or hashtags in the comments because they get removed automatically. I have it set that way. Uh, so if you want me to see your comments and pick up on your energies, then you need to not use those. Okay. So Libra, what is it Libra needs to know? Yeah. Heightened intuition. Ooh, the chariot. Yeah, so I'm going to trust your intuition here. I see the chariot. It's an energy of someone who's determined to have success. Yeah, some of you might have someone you're moving away from, though. Yeah, I see some kind of change and transformation, but this is often something very beautiful. Often a little unexpected, but it's very beautiful. See, something's transforming here. So I feel it has to do with um, moving towards something successful. Just trust your intuition, okay? But I feel there's someone around you. It's a little of that Pisces energy. Yeah, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Interesting, a lot of water energy here. <laughs> wow, let's just put those aside. Pull some out at the end. So Libra, what is it you need to know? Yeah, Seven of Cups. Yeah, someone's looking at all the possibilities. This is someone who sees opportunity for success. There's some kind of transformation. Something is blossoming here. It's developing. So, yeah. Wow. If you've, if you've started seeing someone here, I think I see the little bit of fantasizing trusting that you know if you feel like this energy of how somebody feels whether it's yourself or someone else but it's just the energies right now yeah it's an energy of that strength someone who's feeling confident very strong kind compassionate energy someone here's moving away from their options this is someone who's feeling a strong connection if you're starting to see someone they're feeling the strength of this connection yeah it's an energy of someone who's been kind of waiting See, it's about choosing the one, waiting for the one. Ooh, this is something worth waiting for, I feel. But yeah, there's it's an energy of strength, confidence, someone who feels very determined here. Yeah, it's because something is transforming. If you're seeing someone, it's this transformation. Little Sag energy. So someone kind of just you know, pulling back a little, seeing things differently. This could be someone unique, someone different than your usual type. Mm hmm. I feel there's some chemistry here, to be honest. I feel pretty strong chemistry. More Pisces energy. See, taking a little pause, looking at things from a different perspective, seeing things differently. This is someone who's different, I feel, than usual type. Yeah, something unique, maybe a little eccentric. <laughs> well, yeah, we got. This could be yourself with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You know, this is someone thinking things through. Definitely someone who's thinking, you know, being patient. This is someone who's trying to be patient. They're trying something different. Yeah, and I feel this is someone who's definitely thinking things through, choosing their battles. This is something worth going after. This is someone determined. This is someone who doesn't want someone to get away. Wow. Yeah, and it very well could be someone who's, you know, kind of been waiting for the one. This is an energy of that wand, waiting for the one, looking elsewhere. This is someone who has lots of options, I feel, but they're looking elsewhere. It's an energy of someone being confident that if they're, you know, if they wait patiently, they can connect with the right person. So if you can be patient with this person, I feel this could turn into something here. Yeah, very nice energy. Oh, yeah, a little Cancer, the moon, oh, some romantic energy. There's definitely a lot of that energy of the mystery of discovering someone. This is a person, I feel, who's fantasizing, romanticizing here, but they're thinking it through, choosing their battles. You know, it's a person who wants to build. They want to build something here. So someone building up their confidence, too. See, that's building as well. Ooh, we have the Empress here. Ooh, Libra. If you can be a little patient, I feel this is something really, really positive. Scorpio energy, transformation, change. Mm -hmm. I feel you're different than this person's usual type. And they could be different from your usual type as well. But I feel often I see this as a unique situation, a unique opportunity. 
But patience, I feel, is the thing here. Some sort of transformation. The mystery, being a little mysterious. It's where somebody wants to discover more. They want to know more. They're becoming confident, de decisive. So let's have a look at that. Yeah, for those of you who don't have anyone around, I feel it's an energy of waiting. Some of you may be, you may have lots of options here, possibly. Some of you may be thinking of looking elsewhere. Because there could be something off. you got lots of options. Nobody really is, it, you know, you're interested in. So it could very well be yourself moving away, being determined uh, to move forward. But I feel with this mystery, this is the mystery of the Empress, someone wanting to build. But something is building between two people. So I feel some of you, like I say, if you feel something is off, you got lots of options, you're looking elsewhere, or it's this person, there's that energy of transformation, something really positive. Let's have a look at the Seven of Cups. Oh, yeah, this is someone walking away from all their options. There's, this is someone who's been searching for the one, looking elsewhere, mm -hmm. looking for something new. But it's also an energy of, to me, I see it's an energy often soul searching too. Yeah, see, it's an energy of leaving something behind, all the options. Oh, yeah, this is definitely an energy of an opportunity. See, it's a situation coming to fruition. Trust your intuition. You might know who this is. It's very strong Pisces Cancer, which tells me there's a lot of emotion here. <laughs> waiting for the one. Yeah, this is waiting for that option, opportunity. This is someone looking for that. It's what you're seeking, someone else is also seeking. This a fresh new start, an opportunity. Eight of cups, nine of cups. See, it's energy of being patient. Sometimes when you're patient, you know, patience can often pay off. Oh, yeah, a little Aquarius energy. It's a person releasing things that no longer serve. It's an energy of someone who, you know, is looking for their hopes and dreams. This is someone who is letting go of all their options. This is nobody, you know, someone, nobody here has the right intentions. Yeah, but it's an energy where, it's an energy where you, I feel for yourself even, where you just know. It's where you just know. Yeah, it's a situation that's not serving, walking away. I, I feel like it's the other person. But I feel this is an energy of someone's hopes and dreams. Yourself, it's like it flips. Yeah, someone sees you as everything they could ever want here. And they are becoming decisive. So very interesting. Yeah, you got an emperor here. Possibly Aries. It could be anyone. The emperor can be anyone. It's just an energy of someone who takes action. They know what they want. They're very logical. Okay, it's a person who looks at what it is they want. Very goal-oriented. This is someone who's been waiting for the one. Everything they could ever want. They're looking at it. But I feel for yourself here, see, something here has been worth waiting for. Let's have a look at temperance. Yeah, this is someone taming that beast a little bit. <laughs> Being more patient. See, someone taming the beast, trying something different. Yeah. It's an energy of someone letting go of control, too. See, releasing control. Yeah, I, I feel this is someone who's really determined to have something successful here. I love this energy. This person's kind of just looking at this. Yeah, they're taking action. See, this is something worth fighting for. It's worth going after. It's also a person who looks to see if there's competition, too. It's a person who's goal-oriented, kind of often plans and prepares. They're thinking it through. They're very decisive. So, yeah, this is someone trying something different, a different approach. <laughs> See, and th it's also someone who's mature. Why? Because they're able to put the shoe on the other foot, how the other person feels. So very nice. So this is someone who knows they need to let go of all their other options before they start something. You see, they know. It has to do with the one. <laughs> right? Yeah, Libra, you know, this person, they have to be all about you. There can't be anyone else involved, too. This person knows it. Oh, my goodness. Let's have a look at the hanged man. Yeah, it's a person here. See, it's someone who knows things that weren't successful in the past. So they have pride. They like to be a good provider. But they're coming into this, looking at this as an adventure. It's that spirit of adventure that this person has here. Wow. See, they know competition, conflict, things that weren't successful. Someone who's played the field, dated lots of people, they know. Yeah, they're not, they, they have to leave all their options out of it. They have to let them go. They're taking action. There's no, no competition. But they're also looking to see if there is, too. 
<laughs> this is an energy of two people who know their worth and value. Somebody wants to start something. They can't be involved with anybody else. They can't bring anyone else into it. So let's have a look at the Knight of Swords. Why is this here? Yeah, see, trusting. This is, see, both people, you both already know. Trusting your inner knowing. I feel like you know each other. Yeah, so someone has checked someone out to see if there's competition. They are releasing theirs. Like It's like you both know. You both know your worth and value. Also, letting go of control. Not trying to control anything or it won't be successful. Mm -hmm. That's a person who's really determined to have success. They have a lot of pride. <laughs> Definitely a lot of pride. They're letting go of their ego. So it's an energy of coming in humble. Wow. This is a person who wants to discover the Empress. They want to know. Because this is someone's feelings here, you see. Let's have a look at the chariot. Oh, yeah. So this person may have some cancer energy in their chart. I feel this is someone who's yeah, very em emotionally mature. This is someone who's mastered um, the emo their emotions. They're definitely in control. They're not ruled by them because it's an emperor. But yet they also know they have to come in very humble. See, they, they, they know. This person's thinking it through. They know. They've definitely dated other people, but they're leaving those options behind. They, they also know there's no one here they see long term. They see this long term. So let's have a look at the moon. Why do I feel like I'm going to lose some Libra viewers pretty soon? <laughs> you know, it happens sometimes in waves. <laughs> Let's have a look at the moon. Yeah. Somebody stable, financially stable. Yeah, that's part of it. Someone who's mastered their finances. They've built. They've worked very hard. Very capable. Yeah, they're definitely planning, preparing ahead. They're very, it's energy of kind of keeping some of this to themselves at first. See the moon, but it has to do with that emotional connection. Uh, I feel they're planning something romantic. They're putting a lot of effort. They know this is something that's going to be a lot of work. You know, they're, they're, there's that energy of strength. Very strong. They're very confident. This is someone who's confident. Yeah. Beautiful. They're taming the beast within themselves, though. See, this is someone taming the beast. Keeping some of those feelings to themselves because they definitely, there's a, definitely an attraction here. A very physical attraction, the action, they want to go for it, but they know they need to be humble. If they want this to be successful, they know they need to tame that beast. They need to come in very grounded, sensible, very practical. But I feel this is someone who feels confident here to do with how they feel. And I do feel they're planning something romantic here. Very romantic thoughts, energy. They, they're going to just kind of keep it to themselves for now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is someone wanting to take this to the next. It has to do with that physical attraction, too. This is everything this person could ever want. But they're releasing. See, they're now, this is someone who's letting go of their options, all their contacts, because they're ready for something here, a fresh new start, an opportunity. And if you are waiting here, this person also knows, this is someone who sits on the fence. You may have other options. They're looking to see if you do. Some of you may have several options here. But I feel this is an energy of two people, some sort of transformation between two people. Yeah. Someone here is ending. It's like the death card. Someone's ending all their other options because they're thinking of taking this you know, to the next level. Oh, yeah. They're thinking commitment, transformation. Someone who's just right. Now, if you have no idea who this is, I feel some of you know who this is. You're already involved. You're still technically single. There's still no commitment, but that's where this is leading, the next level commitment. Someone who's just right. They have to come in right, Grout, financially stable as well. This is someone who's been chasing success, very determined to be successful. So I feel they are, but they're toning it down. See, they're not, they're leaving their ego, their pride out of it. They're coming in very humble. I love their energy. They could have Pisces or Cancer in their chart. This is often, like I say, someone who just trusts their intuition. They're thinking things through. See, they're looking to see if someone's right for them or not. Yeah. Tell me about that Pisces energy with the high priestess. Yeah, so someone definitely, 
You know, they're thinking about this. They're, this is someone taking action, choosing their battles. You know, they're, they're looking at this as an adventure. So I feel there's just this energy of seeing this could be something really special, something long term. But they've definitely had chaos, conflict and drama they're leaving in the past, all their options. This could be someone who gets chased by a lot of people because they're successful. Uh, also, they could see you that way too. So they are looking at all those energies. Tell me about this emperor. Yeah, they're trusting. They're very, it's an energy of intuition where something, this person, something feels right. This is their hopes and dreams. Yeah, they're very cautious though. So someone who's been, kind of playing it safe. See, they're going to play it a little safe. King of Pentacles energy. They're a little cautious again with uh, keeping some of their feelings to themselves. They're not ruled by them. So, yeah, but this is someone who I feel is never really, they got people around them, but there's no, no one here they see long term. Yeah, I feel, you know, it's a person who, it has to do with being generous with their time, their energy is someone who's going to give you lots of attention, but they are also being cautious. You may have other people. They're looking at this. They're going to approach you. This is someone thinking of taking, you know, they're going down this path, taking this to the next level. Tell me more about this emperor energy. Yes, this is someone who's been focused on their money, success. They want to be successful before they marry someone or connect or commit. So they are someone who's assessing. See, they're looking at this. They're assessing the situation. They know what they need to let go of, things that no longer serve. They do know their worth and value. They also know that the Empress does. See, they like that energy. I love this reading. I feel this is someone who's just kind of, you know, easing their way into a situation, assessing it. They want success. They really want this to be successful. They're looking at it. They also realize there could be competition. Tell me about that. Five of Wands or obstacles, challenges, but they're looking at these obstacles, challenges. They're looking at this as an adventure. So I wouldn't worry too much. Yeah, see, there could be competition someplace in that social circle. This is definitely someone who has people who chase them. They have a lot of people attracted to them, but they also, I feel it's the energy, both of you. No, there's some very mutual. It's an energy of mutual. You may even have mutual friends. They may have dated people that you know. It's very possible here, but I do think this is someone who's going to ask you out. And I do feel this is someone who's, they're not going to bring up people that they've dated. They're not going to, you know, bring that up. Like I say, they're very humble, but they are someone who's looking for love. And I do feel they're controlling their emotions, but they're letting go of the need to control. That's what I like because it doesn't serve them. This is someone who's learned a lot, obviously. Tell me, they've dated a lot of people. <laughs> They played the field. This is someone who's, yeah, there's, they just see, they get a lot of people giving them attention. There's not a lot of hope. There's no hope for anyone else here. This is someone who just, you know, I, I feel like this is a person who kind of had that cup half full. But, you know, I, I feel with this person, it's they've got lots of people coming in. And they, they may see a lot of people attracted to you. This person may be in your social circle, so they maybe feel there's no hope. But I really feel it's them. They have a lot of people coming after them that they just, you know, they're not interested in. It's definitely somebody here who's, oh, yeah, we have the Queen of Cups. This could be, if you're the, you could be the feminine or masculine here, too, by the way. You can flip this energy. Now, there's definitely Aquarius. See, this is somebody here who's looking at this, the, the Libra energy. They're looking at you as someone who's just right. See, this is someone looking at all the people who aren't right for them. And it actually could be someone who's a Pisces. It's very possible that you have um, Pisces, Cancer, people in the in Scorpio in the same social circle. So you may actually have mutual friends. Or you've both dated people that you both know. So, <laughs> But I feel it's just an energy of someone who felt like there was no hope. But you know... I got to tell you, for the feminine here, it's an energy of just being open, waiting for someone to ask you out. Yeah. But I like the, the reason to celebrate here. Somebody here kind of keeping some things to themselves here, trusting their intuition. See? I feel like some of you know. I've, if you are seeing this person, you know. 
You already know the secrets. <laughs> this is about two people sharing all their secrets, though, their innermost selves, because it's here twice. You're both trusting your intuition. So, yeah, this person wants to build. This is someone who's done their inner work. Uh, they do work a lot. Yeah, they want to build. I feel both of you, you want to build. Something's building between the two of you. I feel it's the chemistry. Yeah, so I feel some of you have other people around you as well, but there's no chemistry. Something's off with all these people. Something is just off, right? That's what I feel this is all about. So this is an energy of just letting it all go willingly. Yeah, it has to do with choosing the one, see, waiting for the one. This has been something worth waiting for. Now, if you are out and about, um, places maybe you go, this person come to, could come to your place of business, vice versa. But this is someone who definitely wants to get you alone. I do feel this is someone respectful. They won't approach you or put you on the spot in front of other people. So it's an energy of someone respecting someone's privacy. Yeah. Tell me about the Four of Wands. This is somebody who I, has to do with building a relationship. It's about coming in right. But I do feel this is, has to do with this opportunity, this invitation. Yeah, they're going to, this is someone who's definitely, they, it's an energy of choosing the one. See, waiting, is this the one? This could be the one. <laughs> yeah, it's both of you kind of keeping some of your feel. If you've dated other people or mutual, you're both going to be keeping that to yourself. Okay, But I feel there's an energy of respect. I do see mutual people around you. So let's have a look at the four of, yeah, so there she is. This is someone here taking a leap of faith, see, reflecting on the past, leaving this in the past, moving away. Some of you definitely too, I feel like you're, you know, with the Empress taking your power back. Okay, there's, I feel some of you have lots of people around you that may be interested, but I feel like you're not interested in anyone here other than one particular person. But that's the energy of the fool. One last look over the shoulder. See, this could be the one going down this path. This person's determined. They want to build. They do work a lot. Oh, yeah. They want to, They know they need to take the lead. They need to be the one to start it. So there's a lot of happiness and joy. Okay. Yeah, a lot of happiness and joy. Very romantic energy. But I do see secrets, keeping things. So someone here... Feeling, you know, I do feel it'll all come out in the open, whatever it is. But I feel this is someone who isn't going to talk about all the people they've dated. Um, but I feel like I, and you could just meet through, some of you, this is an opportunity where you could just meet through friends. But I do feel someone wants to get you alone. They want to talk. Okay, that's the vibe I get. They're uh, decisive. They want to talk. They're thinking things through. They're choosing their battles. This is something worth fighting for. Okay, they're not interested. They see you as someone worth fighting for, going after, but nobody here. And I feel like, like that could be just the mutual energy that you both have. But if there is friends and family or you've dated other people in that social circle, it's not worth fighting over. Yeah, it's just, like I say, obstacles, challenges, competition, lots of competition. Someone is very charming, a little sad energy. Someone is very charming. Gets a lot of attention, maybe very attractive. They could be an Aries. They could be a Leo, Sag. Yeah. It's definitely somebody with a lot of pride. Someone who takes a lot of pride in their work as well. This is someone who's done their inner work, though. That's what I like so much. They've gone within. Into me, I see. They've done their inner work. <laughs> Yeah, it's a cycle ending, a new cycle beginning. So this is someone who wants things to go in their favor. They're very determined, very determined to be successful too. So it's an energy of someone here, you know, I feel. This is definitely someone who's dated a lot of people. They've been a bit of a runner, but they're leaving this behind. They're ready to go down this path. So I see that leap of faith. And they do see the risk. There is a little bit of a risk of obstacles, challenges, but they're just going for it. So someone who's ready to live in the moment. So, yeah, I, I feel this is a very positive energy. I feel a whole new cycle, beautiful, positive energy, a lot of happiness and joy. Let's have a look at the two of wands. Yeah, see, this is someone in protective mode, very protective. See, you're not budging or giving in to someone unless they make some kind of commitment. But it's an energy of protective mode. It's also someone who works a lot. So there is, a, I, a, this person could be protective of you. 
Um, I do feel this is someone respectful. I got to be honest. I feel out of respect. This person's going to wait for the right time in the right place to approach, to talk to you. They're going to want to get you alone to talk. They're not going to do this in front of people. And it's also an energy of, um, if there is someone around you and you know who this person is, single yourself out from the crowd. Move out of the crowd a little bit so they can approach, so they can communicate. So something to do with that too. But I just feel the energy of respect and self-respect here. Yeah. I feel most of you are probably aware of this person. Now, some of you, it's already you're already dealing with them. Others of you, you're just waiting for this person to approach. But that energy of leaving all these options behind. This is somebody romanticizing, fantasizing <laughs> of happiness and joy. They're visualizing themselves here. Yeah, but they're taming that beast. Strong. Yeah, they want they want to build. I mean, they want someone who wants to build with them too, Libra. But this is the energy of protection. Someone protecting themselves. But I feel this is yourself too before you take it to the next level. See? Yeah, you're not budging or giving in. You're not going to budge or give in. You're not taking this to the next level until this person makes some kind of commitment or you have that that conversation. Tell me about strength. Yeah, taming the beast, teaching each other how you want to be treated. Yeah, it's a strong connection. This is, And if you haven't already connected with this person, I feel like you're going to. So it's someplace possibly where you go, someplace in your social circle where you socialize. Like I say, competition, conflict, obstacles. But this is a person who's ready to take action. This is something worth fighting for. So if, even if there is competition, they're going for it. There's the start of something, the start of the soulmate connection, talking, community. How it's going to start with is with a conversation. Okay, But I definitely see the Empress in protective mode. But I also feel this is someone who protects you. They're, they they also will protect you. Okay, So I feel they have your best interests at heart. Others of you, I feel like you're leaving all your options behind, and they are, because they do not have your best intentions. So there could be somebody who knows something. They may come in and tell you that too. So... But yeah, I, I just feel there's just a lot of respect and a lot of mutual energy. Yeah, see, there we have, this is an energy of the Queen of Pentacles grounding yourself. See, we have the power couple. <laughs> Two people here. I, I love this. This is really interesting. You are in protective mode. I feel like you've worked hard to get where you're at, this person too. But I also feel they are kind of protective. And I do feel this is someone who comes in right. And I feel like you're going to look at the situation and assess it yourself. Is this person right for me? There's some beautiful transformation. But something has to end first. And that's the energy of walking away from all those options. This is where you may have, because we know the Empress often has options. I'm not so sure. I think you can see a future. You're visualizing yourself. I feel like you can see a future. You can see yourself married to this person. Maybe even having children. Yeah, romanticizing, fantasizing, see two people connecting, seeing eye to eye, having that conversation. But this is the energy of showing your innermost selves, your innermost secrets. So revealing those secrets. It's all it's all about the right time and the right place for that. This isn't something that has to happen right away unless somebody is actually in a relationship. Okay. I don't really feel that. I feel this is just this transformation, something beautiful. So it's like it's an energy of change. It's the end of uh, dating. It's the end of, um, you know, chasing, <laughs> you know, looking for someone. It has to do with the one. This is someone who sees everything they could ever want, their hopes and dreams. They could have Aquarius in their chart. Yeah, there's the energy of truth, success, victory, seeing the truth of the situation. Yeah. It's this person coming in, win or lose. They will tell you any truth that you want to know. Okay. Yeah. The innermost secrets. This is where people share their innermost secrets, their feelings, emotions, connecting. But it's all about the right place and the right time. So, yeah. I see dating and courting. Some of you may have had a few dates. Yeah. They definitely want to. See? Dating and courting. Dating lots of people. Both of you probably have. Or some anyway, but I do think it'll take two or three dates before this person, you know, it's a person exploring their feelings. It's something worth waiting for. But this is definitely someone asking you out here. Yeah. 
I feel some of you, if you are dating someone and this person comes in or they are, that's what's being left behind. So there will be truth. And it could be where they've dated someone you know. They will tell you the truth. Okay. Yeah. This is energy where you can see victory and success, but that light bulb is going off. This is someone definitely planning something romantic. I definitely feel that romantic energy. Yeah. See the chemistry is really nice here. Yeah, you're going to look at this. You're going to assess this. The feminine energy is going to assess this, but you're both assessing this. This person definitely wants to start it. They're coming in to take the lead. They have to be the one to take the lead. But, you know, this is the romanticizing, fantasizing. You know, it could be a blended family if you've both been married before. If you don't know who this is, this is how it's going to start, is with a conversation. You're going to see eye to eye on some things. You may agree to disagree on some, but you're going to, you know, it's an energy of learning to what's worth fighting for, what's worth fighting over. You may not always agree. No, nobody's perfect. It's that kind of energy where you both kind of see that too. So no relations is absolutely perfect. I see two people who are kind of particular though. So that's, I feel, some ch challenge, some kind of conversation too. But I really feel that you're going to show share your innermost secrets. Yeah, the truth. See, this is an energy of someone kind of pulling back, seeing things different. You're both different than each other's. You're different in so many ways, but yet you're very much the same. So your paths in life, you may have dated some of the same people or your path has been similar in life. So, yeah, I definitely feel with the... Now, the, the temperance is an energy of just being patient with each other, giving each other, you know, that chance to... Yeah, there's definitely a temptation. See, this is someone going to reach out. See, they're looking at, this is someone who looks at how this will play out. It's a crush. They're going to, this is someone who'll show you they like you. They'll do nice things. They'll, you know, but I do see the two of you reciprocating, sharing. See, I, I feel like there's just going to be some nice chemistry. But I feel this is an energy where it's going to start off as uh, maybe just friends first connecting. Uh, if there are, especially if there's children involved, but I feel this is more like romanticizing, fantasizing, seeing a future with each other. And some of you are just waiting for this person to kind of reach out. So I do feel there's a lot of temptation here too. yourself to reach out to start it. Let them start it. Let this person take the lead. Then you know that you can be confident this person's thought things through about what it is they want. Beautiful energy. I really like this reading. So let's grab a few outcome cards. So I do see the both of, both of you being generous with each other, reciprocating your feelings, talking about things, speaking truth, seeing the truth too. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. Yeah, see, there it is. This is about building the foundation. So someone here thinking going down that path. There's that opportunity. There's always a risk. There's always a risk that as you get to know each other, you know, like I feel too, it's like ease into it. Don't rush into this. Just keep it simple at first. Okay. Don't, don't rush in too fast. And, and you know, because sometimes things, uh, when there's a lot of fire here, I do see some fire that things can burn out. But I actually feel there's a reason to celebrate. I feel this is energy of, you know, you're both going to invite each other to your homes. You're slowly building this foundation. So some very positive. I feel like you both can see a future with each other. But I feel there's that temptation. See, there it is, building the foundation. There's that temptation to reach out to them. Let this person, let them do it, okay? They might just drop a little hint or say something sweet to you to get it going, but it's an energy of something that will transform and build. So patience, don't try to rush anything. Stay in control. This is the emperor and empress energy, not being ruled by the emotions. Being able to be emotional, so it's about balance. I also see this person, this energy of head and heart decision too. So, yeah, this is a beautiful, beautiful, you know, you're manifesting. Some of you, there's Gemini energy. You're manifesting each other. It's going to start with communication. You both have everything you need. You see what each other brings to the table. A yeah, little mirroring energy too. <laughs> This could be the one. This is someone who, you know, dating. I feel it's going to take a couple of dates, though, you know, before you start to really feel that vibe. So just be patient. Take a little time to get to know them. This is a person who explores their feelings. See, they're exploring their feelings. They want to explore this connection. 
If you can be patient while this person, because this is where two people are different. This is someone who takes a little longer to fall in love, to assess the situation. Yeah, very nice. Love this so much. You know, if this is, if you want children and don't have children, yeah, this person's definitely someone who's family oriented. You know, they don't care if there's children or not children. I feel this is just a person who, you know, wants to manifest this. They have all the tools. They have everything they need but love. It's someone longing for love. And I feel it's both of you. Such a, I, I see companionship too. Both people being very comfortable with each other, taking a little time to get comfortable. It takes time to get comfortable to share that innermost self. So that's why I feel just kind of keep it simple at first because I do see protection mode, protecting yourself before you take it to the next level, not budging or giving in with someone until you know certain things about them. Okay, so it's an energy of no secrets in the end. Everybody has a little something that they don't want to reveal about their innermost self, but I feel there's not going to be a lot of judgment there. So I don't really feel like there's anything really hidden. I just feel the biggest thing is the people you, you may have people in your social circle you mutually know and have dated, but it's not worth fighting for. It's not worth fighting for. They're just a few obstacles and challenges. Okay, take care and we'll see you soon.